Would you talking? I will always start off. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. What's up? <laughs> What's going on? Hunter's making the intro from behind the counter today. Counter? Camera. Behind the counter, behind the camera. She's back there. So, kind of <laughs> had a woman joke in there, but I didn't want to add it to my YouTube channel. A woman joke? Better not. All right. I'm not editing that out, too, so well, you're going to get hate. What's up, Hunter? What's up? What are we doing today? What, um... Oh, I just wanted to talk about the 2021 Bassmaster Elite Series. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good year. Schedule just got schedule was just released. Been studying that thing. Got some lakes I've been to a few times. Got some lakes I've never seen before. So, which ones? Been, been to St. John's. Been to um, Gunnersville. First time last year. St. John's. First time last year. Been to. Neely Henry when I was in college and high school. Fished a big high school tournament on Neely Henry whenever I was like, I don't know, 17 years old. Came in the top, I think we came in second actually on ne on uh, Neely Henry in a high school tournament. And then- um, Oh, you think you're all that, don't you? Well, we had like 10 pounds or maybe 11 or 12 or something like that. But anyways, we, we didn't have much weight. We came in like second or third, or I mean, I don't, it was like top five, something. In the, uh, it must have been a long time ago, in a high school tournament, it was like 88 boats, I think. 88 boats, something like that. 80, 80 boats, something around there, and we came in. I don't know, we'll just say third. I have no idea, but did good, caught them. I remember exactly where I caught them. I remember every single fish. I can remember like it, the exact cast where I actually caught the fish on that lake, and I remember exactly where it was and all that. And then I fished a college tournament there when I was at UAB, and I won that college tournament too. I think I had 13 pounds that day, something like that. And I remember every single fish I caught that day too, including a four pounder that I lost that day. So. I know all the places where I've caught the 11 bass that I have caught on that lake before. Oh, you really think you're all that, don't you? No, I'll probably go there and catch nine pounds a day. See, that 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 sometimes is bad. Like, you know those places, but like, there could not have been fish there since then. I might have caught the last fish there. Yeah. Ever. Last fish out of the whole creek. Ever. I might have caught the last fish out of the whole lake seven years ago. Judging by the results, it kind of seems that way. How it's been lately. Okay, where else have you been? Okay, um, been to Lake Fork, went there this year. St. Lawrence River, went there this year. And... Tennessee River's on there. I ain't been that. Yeah. ain't been there. Where's that at? That is above... So, Chickamauga, Watts Bar, Fort Loudon, I think is the next one. Above That's what the classic was, wasn't it? Same place. Oh. So, I believe the same place. I might have to go... I might be off on which section we're fishing. But I think it's the same section that was the classic, just like two or three dams above Chickamauga. It's going to be a cool one. going to be one where there's, you know, a lot of different stuff in play. That time of year specifically, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun to see how that one plays out. St. John's River, we're going there first, early February. going to be a good one. So many big fish down there. Just crazy, crazy big fish down there. Are you good That's for same. another 10-pounder? Another 10-pounder? I don't know if you can predict another 10-pounder, so we'll just say yeah. Just you know, say you're good for Hopefully. One. I mean, I'd love to catch another 10-pounder. I'd like to catch one every single day. That's what it's going to take down there. But we can get a good warming trend. We get some, you know, decent conditions. I mean, but let's just be honest. February, you never have seven days in a row of good weather. There's just going to be a cold front. That's just how it is. So if we can get some good condition down there, let the water stay full, which it did not do last year, should, should be a good time. Should be able to catch some dang bass down there. So looking forward to that. Should be a fun one. So which ones have you not been to? Tennessee River? Have been to, okay, so we're going to St. John's, been there. Tensa River, have not been there. Then we're going to Sabine River, have not been there. Is that the one in Louisiana? It's on the Louisiana-Texas border. I think we're only allowed to fish in Texas. See, at the beginning of last year, you were allowed to fish. No, not Louisiana. Oh, you were never allowed to fish? Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. So, um, Sabine River, then we're going to Lake Fork. Then from Lake Fork, we're going over to Neely Henry. For number six. Where's that up? No, it's not number six, is it? Where's Neely Henry? Neely Henry's in Alabama. Up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's in Alabama. Then we're going to Gunnersville, Pickwick, Champlain, St. Lawrence. And I might have them last two backwards, but I feel like it's Champlain, St. Lawrence. Or maybe it could be St. Lawrence, Champlain. Either way, we're going to those two back to back also. So, been to St. Lawrence, been to Champlain, been to uh, Gunnersville, been to Neely, been to St. John's. And been to Lake Fork. So most of the tournaments, I've actually been there as opposed to this year where I had not only been to Chickamauga and there's only one I've ever been to. And oh, Santee. Chickamauga and Santee were the only two I had been to this year. So next year, half the tournaments we've follow. been to. Oh, and you follow. Yeah, then you follow. So th three of the ones last year I had been to. 
It's okay though. I like fishing lakes I've never been to, and I don't have enough experience on those lakes to actually, you know, feel like, you know, it's gonna hurt me because I don't really know very much on those lakes at all. So it's, it's gonna, gonna be cool though. I'm excited to go back down to St. John's, you know, do some do some bed fishing, do some pre-spawn fishing, you know, leave straight from there and go. And you're, we're on a straight pre-spawn tournament up there in Tennessee fishing, you know, the Tennessee River. It's gonna be 100% all pre-spawn. They're gonna be set up the way I kind of like for them to be set up. Some people still gonna catch them out super deep. Some people are gonna catch them, you know, schooling probably out you suspended in guts and crap and some people gonna catch them just shallow cranking and skipping docks and you know just fishing all kinds of different ways then we're going down to the next one i think all of march we do not have a tournament if i if i've seen that correctly we don't have a single tournament in march except for the classic and then after the classic we're going to sabine river which is going to be fun it's going to be well it's not going to be as fun because it's super tough but it's going to be a lot of shallow fishing it's going to be a lot of flipping a lot of swim jigging, chatter baiting. Still gonna be some offshore fish caught. I mean, well, not deep, but kind of, kind of some offshore fish caught. And then the Lake Fork's gonna be kind of have it all on the table. You're gonna be some sight fish, you know, some some shad spawn going on. There's gonna be a lot of sight fishing going on. Some offshore fish going on. A lot. It's probably gonna be one offshore just because it always is one there offshore. Even whenever they're in the heart of the spawn, there's still plenty of fish offshore. So gonna be some offshore stuff going on on Lake Fork. Then from Lake Fork, we're going to Neely Henry. Same thing. There's going to be some spawn of fish. But primarily, that one's going to be fish, you know, fishing off the bank. Not super deep, but off the bank, definitely. And on that main river and some current, catch a spot of bass. So that's how Neely Henry's going to go. Then we're going to Gunnersville. Another one that's going to be an offshore deal. Gunnersville is going to be a big time ledge lake. Not a super good strength of mine, but you can still catch some shallow on Gunnersville in late May. It's just going to be primarily a ledge fishing deal. Then from there we're going to Pickwick, which will be a 100% ledge fishing deal. You can get a check shallow, but you can't do much more than that shallow on Pickwick. So Pickwick's going to be a, a big time ledge deal. Straight from Pickwick, where are we going next? Champlain and St. Lawrence. I think it's the last two that I have not mentioned. I'm not sure. Maybe I skipped one. I don't know. But St. Lawrence is going to be a super deep drifting on the shoals for, for smallmouth you know it's going to take huge weights it always does take huge weights but extremely boring way to fish it's not fun at all you just pretty much graph around finding a couple places that you want to drift over and then you just go drift over them suckers and try to catch you 24 pounds of smallmouth every single day and then from there go to champlain champlain is one of the best lakes in the country i fell in love with that place when i was here this this past year you can catch so many big smallmouth so many good largemouth it's just you can do anything you want to do like there's nothing off the table when you go there. You can just go throw a square bill all day, you might have to catch 20 pounds. You can go throw a jerk bait, you might catch 20 pounds. You can go throw a, a dang wacky Cinco, you might catch 20 pounds. There's no bait that they will not eat there and there's so many big fish that you always have a chance to do it no matter what structure you're fishing and what bait you're fishing. You always have a good chance of catching a big bag there. It's a phenomenal lake. Everything's on the table for Champlain this year. So that's it. That's the schedule for this year. Um, should be a good one. Hopefully we can catch them pretty good and you know do decent in some of the northern tournaments and have a little bit better year than we had last year. So that's the goal. Just improve, make better decisions every single year, improve every single year, and just get better and better and better. So appreciate you got y'all guys watching. If y'all that's my take on the schedule for next year. We got a lot of new elites coming in. We got 13 new elites coming in. We got some big names coming in. We got some rookies coming in that are absolute, you know, crushers. They've been catching them forever and ever and ever and they, you know, just now taking the step to fish the elite so it's going to be another year with even more good fishermen and i'm looking forward to it you know get out there go with some strong competition everybody's gonna have some bad days but it's gonna be a good year for sure so looking forward to it hope you guys will hit that subscribe button turn the alerts on so you can follow me all next year i really appreciate it and we'll see y'all next video see y'all